August 21st, 2017, 5.35 p.m. Let me call...
There's no delusions, Pooh. I'd be happy to meet you guys at the FBI building, and you might bring Mark, and that way you can see what kind of trouble you're really in. And this is no delusion. It is all over the Internet. Well, Heidi, I just, you know, I just am very, I am so sorry that this all has happened. And I, you know, it's just a, a sad thing. But honestly, uh, right now, I don't think Jill, um, you know, she, she is just now recovering from that horrible accident. And um, she's not not healthy enough right now. You're right. She's not healthy. Yeah. She definitely needs to be in some institution or getting evaluated psychologically. Because if she took that horrific of a, a brain trauma that she thinks she can kidnap and she's gone crazy, then... No, I didn't say that at all. I didn't say that at all. I'm saying... She's that unhealthy. Yeah. Well... I have recordings of her online that I placed on YouTube, and you should hear her, her derangement. And it's very obvious that she cannot rationally think, and that's why I'm calling you. So if you can please take the time to look up the Jill Woodick recordings on my YouTube under my name, you can see how, how significantly, uh, gravely... I don't even know, gravely mentally ill this lady is. And I, I just, I cannot believe this. I mean, never have they fought for me to see my daughter. There's nothing on me. There's no drugs, no alcohol, no mental illness. There is no child abuse. There is no legal reason to take my child from me. There's all organized, conspired crime. They beat me to a pulp. Luke sat there and watched it and videotaped it. And they beat me to a pulp. I have a mechanic who found the tracking devices. They were tracking me. Well, Joe's been illegally on my phone. I have a huge stack from the uh, cell phone provider showing me every minute that my phone's been hacked. And they've been illegally obtaining pictures and recordings. And who was we have beating you? Stuff's all on YouTube. Heidi, who was beating you? The sheriff's office. And I have witnesses that Joe and Luke said if I didn't shut up, that they were going to beat me up in 2013. And two and a half weeks later, they had their sheriff officer, Caitlin Graziano. And I have Caitlin Graziano's statement saying that they beat me up. Even Dave Clement said they beat me up. They tore both my shoulders, separated my shoulder. They tore my inguinals, my, my gluteus medius, and tore my hip, whiplashed me from head to tailbone. The sheriff did. The sheriff. Five sheriff officers. And they've continually come to pick me up. They've attempted my life. I mean, this the stuff that I have gone through is horrific, and I am pressing first-degree murder on them. And I'm just wanting you to know, heads up, that this is what's happening, and I will not, I will not back down in court. So it's not a threat, but I just need you to, to get Jill to speak to the FBI and know that this is at headquarters. And she seems to think this is a delusion and she's stuck in bound that there's mental illness when there's nothing. And there's plenty of people saying there's nothing. I mean, the whole CMHIP was recorded. I have witnesses that were in there with me. I have the doctors and they've gone after the doctors who were there, who stood up for me. And this is, I mean, she's... I know you don't want to face the fact that your daughter has lost her mind and that your daughter has pretty much is a criminal, but she is. And if you could please take the time with Mark, your son, who's an attorney, and review everything because you might have to take conservatorship and put her in a mental institution or do some intervention to help her. That's how bad it is. And Joe's a sicko, and I have pictures of child porn of me when I was four. And I've been battling this. I have other women. I have my mom, Lucinda, that when they spoke out about him having sex problems, Joe tried to kill Lucinda. Joe tried hurting other people. He tried illegally taking other children. There is a lot of people, Sue. I know this sounds like untrue for you because it's just, but it's reality. 
and there's a lot of people. So if you want to take the time with Mark, I'd be happy to sit down with you and Mark so you guys can review it. And Mark will tell you, I mean, it's basic law. They did not one thing legal. Not one. Well, Heidi, I just, you know, I don't know what to do about this. You know, I really don't. But I, right now, I just need to think about it for a while, okay? Okay. All right, honey. All right. And then, um, yeah, I mean, you guys are under a major investigation, too, because it appears Joe Winnick was out there on your at the uh, plane right before the boat trees plane went down. And Joe told me about it, and I am a witness to it, too, of him saying that. That Joe was what now? Is it, this is all, I mean, I, we should really sit down. So talk to Mark and see if you guys want to talk about this. I'd be mean, more than happy to meet you at the head, at FBI or with Homeland Security. And we can go over just the real basics, because there's so much to this. So talk to Mark and get back to me and let me know if that's something you want to do. But... Um, I mean, all the ones that you love are, are all involved in this, even Marilyn Wagner. All right, honey. Well, okay. let me think about it, okay? All right. But I'd be happy to sit with you guys. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Now, if somebody called and told you all that information and was telling you they had evidence, would you not ask to then meet? Would you not go to the FBI and find out? Would you not want to see the documents? That's what's crazy. That's harboring. That's accessory. If somebody called me like that telling me an information. Oh boy, would I want to uh, know it. And would I want to see it, you know, for one, if you thought they were delusional, then you could get it recorded and catch somebody in delusion. Or you get to hear the facts and see it. And then protect yourself. I think it's just crazy. Somebody doesn't want to sit down. I mean, I've called all of them to meet me at FBI. Look at the documents. Not one of them wants to. They want to stay in their delusional state of mind and think that the FBI aren't going to get them. It's fucking crazy.